What's good y'all, John D. Saunders here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a knowledge base for your agency, company, business using Notion. Let's go ahead and dive in y'all. First off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It helps folks find more great content like this. But without further ado, I ain't even hitting you with no like primer. We're going straight into it. Let me jump into my computer and show you how to create a knowledge base or standard operating procedures system of everything in your agency in one top spot. I'm gonna do this with y'all in real time. So let's go ahead and jump in. Welcome to Notion, y'all. This is a company wiki that we've created. And essentially what Notion can do is organize a lot of your files, your docs, your um, knowledge base, your standard operating procedures, your notes, all into an easy access file area. So right now I'm in the main area in my workspace. As you can see, I've got 5.4 Digital, which is our agency, and all of our team members can access all these files here. Now, the great thing about Notion is you can create all these different file types within this platform. So for example, if I just hit enter here and I hit this plus button, I can add text, I can add an additional sub page. So the way that works is this is the main page, it would create like a sub page under that. So think of it as when you're creating Google Drive, you might make, create a Google Doc, you might create that under a folder. This makes it easier because it's one click as opposed to having to open up a new file. Everything works within the Notion workspace. So I can create a to-do list, I can create a heading, H2, H3, you can do bullet lists, I can add dividers, um, links to additional pages inside of Notion. Also, I can mention a page, add a data reminder, add emojis to delineate content between each other. Um, I can also add a database, which is, think of it as like a, a Google sheet or an Excel sheet, where I can add as, uh, additional attributes to that. And I'll show you a little bit how that works too. Again, Notion is a very, very powerful tool. I'm still learning it as I go as well, but ultimately moving a lot of our content to this knowledge base has helped exponentially. And just making it easier for our team members to access docs and files. And so just to give you an example, the way we had our SOPs set up before our, um, I'll just broke the file. So the way we had our SOP set up before was through Google Drive. So I would go to Google Drive, I would go to Main Docs, then I would go to Training, and then we had Standard Operating Procedures folder here with all of our documents. Then I would go to Organizational Team SOPs. And in this doc, I would have a link to all of our internal SOPs in the agency. So if you clicked one of these, for example, like the design process, it would just bring you to another Google Doc. So this would be, this would act as our main Google Doc, and then we have a Google Doc here, with all of our training. So as you can see, it, it's tiered, right? It's not terrible, right? It's still organized in Google Drive, but with Notion, what I can do is I can have the knowledge base here and everything is, is within this workspace. So once I click it, now I'm in a sub page. So if you look in the top left-hand corner here, you'll see 5.4 Digital is my workspace. Knowledge base is that sub page. And in this sub page, we have all of our trainings. So think of all of these as standalone pages. So if I was to hit here plus, I would just hit page and now I'm in another sub page of that knowledge base. So at the top tier, you have 5.4 Digital. Under that, you have the knowledge base and under that, you have the individual uh, standard operating procedure or platform that we're working with, right? So it's really easy to use um, and get organized within the platform. Let me go ahead and clean this up. So the way we have our setup is um, we have 5.4 Digital, then we have Team Docs, right? So we have our mission. As you can see here, you can read over that. We have our uh, any press or links that we've been mentioned in, as well as our team directory here, which is really cool. And then we have our agency partners also, as you can see here, and more details. So our team has full access to this. So for example, our project manager knows that we have a new hire. They can look and find all their information, all their details, uh, what time they work, everything and you can use a database to create that so think of it as like a google sheet that you have embedded in this knowledge base it just works really really well so for example if i'm in the team directory here this is a database that we just created and again notion actually has templates for a lot of this stuff too which i'll show you a little bit later but you can see team directory you can see a b right here he's in the department uh design department his location his email his role all the information that he has as well so with that said it's easy to find all the information as a team in this knowledge base. So I'm gonna scroll down and the main thing I wanna show you is how to create your own knowledge base. I've also got agency tools here, right? So you can see web design inspiration, 
Um, I've got my UI UX tools here. So anytime I find links or docs online, I'll drop them there. And this just makes it easy for all of our team to access one doc. So let's say you wanted to create your own knowledge base using Notion. What you do is you hit this plus button and you would just hit like plus page. And once you do that plus page, it'll bring, bring this up. What I like to do is have an icon. So I'll add an icon that just looks like a book. We'll call this our knowledge base just so you can see what that kind of looks like. And then you just start to create, right? So let's say our first SOP is how to train a new team member. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add plus here and I'm just gonna do page. It's gonna be how to train a new team member, right? And then here's the architecture of how we set up our SOPs. Uh, first, and I'm just going back so I could show you what this looks like. And as you can see, that knowledge base is here now, right? So when I click it, I've got access to the full knowledge base. And then if I click this, again, this is a sub sub page, then I have the training here. But I just wanna show you what that looks like in real time. So I'm just gonna delete that and go to our true knowledge base here. I'll just show you, for example, lo-fi wireframe strategy. The way we set it up is we have, uh, the data was last updated. That's usually what we put at the top. So team members know the last time it was updated, maybe there need to be some changes or updates. And then video training. All you have to do here is really cool. Just hit the plus button. I'm just gonna do, um, and you can you can just plug in the link. And if you plug in like a YouTube link, it'll automatically pop this up and you can either embed it or link it to that video. So uh, I'll give you an example. Let's go to YouTube and let's go to our 54 Digital. Um, let me see, videos. I'm just gonna click this one. So if I click the copy here, I can just go ahead and drop this here and then I can hit embed video and it'll just embed it into Notion. So now a team member can go in here, just click play and they're ready to go. So as you can see, I've got a video here embedded. Side note for all of our standard operating procedures, and you can check this up in the top right hand link. If you're looking on how to create SOPs, uh, check out that link that I have a quick training there. But um, we always upload the videos to YouTube and create add them as unlisted. That way only our team members have access, right? And it's a free service that you can use to get that done. So here I have that, I have the video here, and then I have the overview, any tools or images that we mentioned, and then just the step-by-step -step directions and any links that are included. So this is one example of one of our operating procedures. You have the title at the top, you know, nice little icon to be consistent with the rest of the knowledge base. The data was last updated, video training, overview tools, and then of course the step-by-step -step directions and then any links or inspiration that team member would need access to. And so this is, basically the entire principle of how our SOPs are built. So all of these uh, SOPs that we have within the agency are built the same way. So if you go to Q&A, it's the same thing. You know, you got your video training here, then you have the step-by-step -step directions here. If you go to, for example, um, let's say uh, posting blog content, it's all here as well. And so just to reiterate and go back to how we created this, we have our 5.4 digital workspace here, and then we have our page that we created Right? We created a page, and then that page is essentially embedded in our workspace. Then when you're here, you just, I don't know what that is. Then you just, um, you just create an, it's like pay, creating a page within a page within a page. Pageception, nah, corny. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it's done. And so to delineate these items and make it easy for you to organize, you just really just add, uh, let's add an H2 here. Let's do, uh, cool stuff and under that I can just add the pages like I have here so if I do plus I'll do a page and I'll just add an icon we'll add scissors just so you can see what that looks like scissors and I go back boom it's right there and I can click through and that'll take me right here to that specific SOP now let's say you want to add like a section or delineation you can just hit plus I'm gonna just gonna add a divider and do that now let's say I want to put this on the right side you just take this and drag it and see how that that little column comes up? And you just pop it in like that. I mean, it's it's really cool um, how you can just organize this and literally create your entire knowledge base from scratch. So again, just to lastly say, it's really easy to set these things up in Notion. Um, think of it as your internal wiki, your internal database. You can also go to Notion templates and Notion has a bunch of free templates that you can access um, at any time. 
that are really, really helpful. Like we use the um, the team member one. They have ones for startups, one for students, for nonprofits. I mean, you've got tons of stuff here. Like for startups, we actually use the team um, and mission statement ones. We also use the company home as well. Like if you click this, boom, it has everything you need, right? You've got your what's new, your mission, your employee directory, your recent press. So you can start with these preliminary docs and get everything done in just a few minutes. Again, I hope this was helpful, y'all. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you all for checking the video content. As always, thank you. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see y'all next week. Peace.